There's also some a question that's often brought up uh, about uh, the formation of ice in Greenland, for example, and how that accumulated. Um, there was a recent incident that occurred at the end of the Second World War, which is quite fascinating. There was a squadron of P-38s and a couple of B-17s that were flying from North America over to England at the end of the war. And that was over 50 years ago now. And they got stranded out in the middle of the North Atlantic, so they ended up crash landing on the southern coast of Greenland. But they were rescued about a week later. But the planes were left behind. And there was a wealthy uh, Texan who decided to go looking for these planes because they were very valuable to restore, particularly the P-38s. So they went looking for the planes on the southern coast of Greenland, and they couldn't find them for about a year because they had moved. The ice was slowly oh. drifting toward the Atlantic and calving off and disappearing. But they looked about 10 miles from where they knew they had crash landed and found them 250 feet down in the ice. <laughs> what had happened was the average precipitation that occurred on the southern coast of Greenland was an average of about five feet of ice per year, solid ice, wow. that accumulated. So in 50 years, you got about 250 feet of ice above the airplane. So they were buried down there. Now, what's that got to do with the ice age? The importance of this was, how do you get that kind of accumulation of ice in Greenland yeah. in that short of time? The normal amount of ice that accumulates in Greenland is, on, is less than a foot a year, typically, in Greenland. But on the southern coast of Greenland, where those planes happened to have landed, was where the Gulf Stream intersects with Greenland, which is a warm ocean current that comes up the east coast oh. of North America and is a large source of water vapor off the coast of this cold continent, very much like what we've talked about uh -huh. uh, globally. So this is a small scale event that would produce an increase, five fold increase in the amount of precipitation in just that southern part of Greenland and accumulate that amount of ice. And those are the unique conditions you were saying were required But it for was globally, it was yes. global instead of just this little local area. So it's very, very convincing. Huh.